everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and if you hear noise in the background, it's my husband and my kids watching like the old black and white um, monster movies. So I'm not sure which one they're watching tonight, but they've kind of been on a roll since, you know, Halloween. It's already passed, but you gotta watch all the movies. What you gonna do? My husband was on night shift that week and this week he's on day shift. So now he gets to watch movies with the kids. So you might hear that noise in the background. I have a finale for you. I'm very excited that I finally have this finale. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab. It is Panner's Bingo. It was created by Kana. She is going to be listed down below along with everyone else that has joined in. This was one of those that um, didn't have a specific end date. It's just when you hit your bingo, you're done. And I have finally hit my bingo. It's been a while since I've updated this. And um, since my last update, all the numbers have been drawn. Um, it's been a long time. So what I did is I knew I wasn't going to be able to film a lot of updates. On, I'm behind on everything. But I did bring in um, the products for all the remaining numbers in the, this project. And I started working on them. I just kind of like put them in my spreadsheet. And, you know, I did it as if I had filmed an update. But, you know, without actually filming it. So I've been working on stuff behind the scenes just because... With filming every other day or uploading every other day, I just, I can't get all of the projects done every month because basically um, I had 30 to 31 things every single month that filled my schedule and now I'm cutting that in half and it's kind of hard to fit it all in when, you know, you only have half the number of days that you're uploading, but it's easier on me. It is a lot easier on me. So, anywho, that being said, it, a lot has changed since the last update and I have actually hit bingo on this. I wasn't actually going to film this, but now that I have my bingo, I'm going to film it and, um, you know, have one less thing on my plate because <laughs> I got a lot on there right now. And, um, this will be, this is a good feeling that this was successful, that I did actually hit the bingo before the end of the year because I was going to stop it at the end of the year if I, um, hadn't hit it yet, just because all the new stuff coming in next year, as far as projects, I didn't want to overwhelm myself. So, I'm very, very happy that I was successful and I did hit my bingo. So this started on September 1st, last year, I believe. Yes, it was last year. And um, <clears throat> yes, it's been going on for quite some time, quite some time. I had a lot of um, stuff on my board, but you know, it was like all over the place. And you know, now I'm going to have my up here, it's gonna be on this side. I'm gonna have my bingo board and um, I'm so excited. I got the end down, which a lot of people will be like, ah, but you got the free space, but we did actually have to pan a product for the free space. It was a mini or a deluxe, not a sample, not a sample, I don't think. I'm pretty sure she said not a sample, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, one was easy, though I don't think mine was very easy. I'm trying to remember what I put in for that. Oh, the, the Dermalogica um, Daily Microfolian. Yeah, that one that one took a while, like a month worth of usage. It's a lot in that little deluxe size sample. But I digress. That is water under the bridge. Let's get on to the actual like products. I'm going to show you what I finished. And I just realized I grabbed one of the wrong things. But um, if you watched my empties, you would have seen it. So for I-20, um, that was a high-end product. And I finished the Exuviance Daily Resurfacing Peel Pads. I really enjoyed these a whole lot. They worked. They worked. Like, I literally would see, uh, I would see, like, parts of my face peeling off. <laughs> like, almost like that flakiness. And I have oily skin, so that usually doesn't happen with me in peels. Um, I would... I would use this probably like every second or third day, depending on my skin, because I have super sensitive skin. Um, but I really liked it a whole lot. And I would do this in conjunction with the um, weekly peels. Not that one in particular, but one I've already finished. And um, yeah, I really like it. I like it a whole lot. I would totally repurchase those. Um, next is I-26. That is something new. I did go with a deluxe... Um, product on that and funny enough it actually has the word new on it this is the aquaphor advanced therapy it is like a super heavy duty spray on lotion and it feels like I put a lotion bar on me that's how thick like it felt very 
very moisturizing and um, it is done. I did actually really like it a whole lot. So I don't know if they still make that or not, but I, I've probably had this a couple of years and just have never used it. And um, I thought, what better time? It's getting cold, skin's getting dry. Can't go wrong with any kind of lotion. All right, moving on to N33. <clears throat> I'm going through all the ones that I finished first. Have you noticed that? N33 was a, it just says cream. So I um, went with a Franken matte cream eyeshadow. It is done. Um, this had been in for a while and you guys had seen progress on it, but it's done now. So I'm very happy about that. This is the one I picked up the wrong thing, N42 hair product. Um, this is actually the black castor and flaxseed oil. I meant to grab the olive oil one, but my empties are all the way across the room and I really don't want to get up and get it. But if you watch my empties, it's the one with the green top. I finished it and um, yeah, I have backups and I'm happy about that. Two more empties. I have um, 065, which is limited edition or discount or discontinued, if I could speak. Um, this is a Bath and Body Works Cotton Blossom body spray. Cotton Blossom's been gone for a very long time. A very, very, very long time. I don't, I don't know if this is my last one or if I have one more. I, I can't remember, but I love it. And um, 071, terrible packaging. Um, this is the Body Shop Jasmine Perfumed Oil plus dog hair on the lid. This, the packaging, just, it sucked. This is what you use to apply the perfume oil, which, like, I feel like if you're touching your skin with this and, and you're putting it back in, it's just, you're contaminating your, your product. I, I think it's a, a design flaw in packaging. It's just, it wasn't well thought out, but then it turned out that I couldn't really put this on my skin anyway because I had a severe allergic reaction, so I ended up diffusing most of it. And um, you can see all of my lines here. I did try to put it on my skin, and um, it just, mm -mm. if you look at like some past updates, I had like welts because I applied it in um, like the interior of my arm, and I like I had welts for weeks. It looked it looked crazy, it itched like crazy, and it actually hurt, so it got diffused. It's okay. It got used, it didn't get wasted, it smelled absolutely lovely, it just did not work with my skin. Mm -mm. That's how sensitive my skin is to some things. All right, now all of the stuff I did not finish, but that's okay. Some of it I will continue to work on, some of it I won't. Um, <clears throat> we'll just have to play it by ear. Um, you know, I, I will work on products that are not in a project sometimes if I just really want to get a product done before the end of the year. All right, for G60, that's a dupe. It's something that um, I had two of in my collection. It was a, at the time it was a loose, it was a um, mica pigment. It actually made two pans. I finished one of the pans. I didn't finish the other one. And um, all of it was in the container. So to me, it was one product, even though I had two pans of it. Not finished, I will probably continue to work on that. B13, it says perfume, which I didn't, I only have full size perfumes. I did not want to put one of my high end full size perfumes in here, so I went with um, <clears throat> a body spray. Wow, couldn't think of it. This is Bath and Body Works White Tea and Ginger Body Splash. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but I'm still using it. You can see it's been a while since I've updated, so from here to here. I am going to try to finish it this year. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. And, um, yeah, I would like for it to be done and out of my collection and not have to worry about it. Next is B1, um, Hardest to Pan. For me, that's hairspray. <laughs> I think I used this once since I brought it in, and I brought it in in an actual update. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be working on this this year. If I use it once before the end of the year, that'll be amazing. I'm just not a hairspray girl. Next up is B15 Colorful Eyeliner. I made good progress on this. It is, um, what is it called? It's ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in Prance. I've already panned one of these. They were gifts. I did not purchase them because blue around my eyes, that's not a me thing. But 
I'm not going to roll it up because I don't want it broken. I already did to measure it. But I went from here to here. Um, this It was up here when I brought it in. Probably the last update. And then I am down to here. I will continue to work on this one this year. Because I would like to have that done before the end of the year. <clears throat> Pardon me. Alright, next. Um, I-24 broken or beat up packaging. And that is this thing. It's like falling apart here. One of these little clamshell things. It's Coastal Scents. Look, it's it's like a mess. <clears throat> Just like my voice. Um, the blush is, I believe it's Charming, which is this shade right here. And I was so close to finishing it, but not quite there. So as close as I am, it doesn't make sense not to try to finish it this year. So I will continue to work on this one. Next, I-28 is something on the chopping block which it seems weird that I would put a lip balm in for this because um, I love my lip balms, but it is a potted lip balm. It is um, Absolute New York, You're the Balm in Grape. I love the smell of it. It does have glitters in it. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to continue working on this because it was in a previous project. Then I rolled it into this one and um, I kind of want it done and to get it out because it's super thin. It um, it wears like a gloss, not like a balm. I don't feel very moisturized with this. So I'm, I think I'm gonna try to keep working on it. I just, I want it gone. Gone, gone, gone. That's what I would like. All right, next up is scrolling. Ah, this one, um, G55. And that is used for an alternate purpose. I have the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, it's a high def concealer in peach. It's basically a color corrector, which most people use peaches under their eyes for dark circles. I don't have that. So I've been using this with um, a foundation that is just a little bit too light. So I will put this around the perimeter of my face, almost like you would a bronzer, and then put the lighter foundation in the interior of my face and um, you know, try to get it used that way because I will never use it like its intended purpose. I just don't need it. I don't know why I purchased it. Probably I was smoking crack that day or something. I don't know. So this had been in a previous project and then got rolled into here. I'm probably just going to keep working on it, trying to get it done this year. I don't know if you can see, but there, there's like a window in here. It is super thin. I really think if I continue to use it that way on the perimeter of my face with a foundation that's too light, I can get it done and then I can get it out of my collection and I don't have to worry about it anymore because, you know, that's the goal. Get this stuff out of here that I don't really want so I can just be left with the things that I love. All right, moving on to G59 Cute Packaging. Look how cute this is. It is, it's a mini a deluxe of a bigger version. Um, this is the Ajua Beauty. It's the Bayomint Moisturizing Curl Defining Cream. So it kind of has um, like... Properties like a leave-in, but it has, um, you can use it as a styler. I use it in conjunction with the gel. Let me open this bad boy up. I have not used a ton of it in there. I don't know if it's even going to show up. I, I've probably used a third of it. I will continue to use this because um, I, like, it's small. There's no reason why I can't get that done, and I really... I, I enjoy it. I like it. It's in my hair now, but this is day three hair, so don't judge. Don't judge. All right, last two things. Um, 062 Pretty Embossing is the um, prompt. I just thought, you know, that like, heart on there is very pretty. This has been in a previous project. It is the City Color White Gold Eye Mousse. I actually have it on the inner corners of my eyes. I made a little progress with it, but not a ton. And um, yeah, I will continue to work on it this year. There's no way I can finish it, but I just like it. So I'm gonna work on it. You know how that goes. And the very last one, 070. Favorite brand for hair care. This, I have two favorite brands. This is definitely one of them. Not Your Mother's Naturals, absolutely love it. It is the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask. Um, I've turned a few people onto this mask. Some people love it, some people don't. I think it depends on your hair texture. 
thickness and all that good stuff. Most of my curly girls really like it, um, unless they have incredibly thin hair. This stuff is thebomb.com and it smells so good. It smells just wonderful. This is a holy grail for me. Um, it's definitely going to get used before the end of the year. I'm not going to not work on this. So yeah, I, I feel like everything but the hairspray I'm going to continue to work on just because I like the products or I want them done and out of my collection. So yeah, hairspray. We're not even going to worry about that. We're going we're gonna to pretend it's not there. All right. Um, I'm so happy to have Bingo um, end down. Like I said, I had the board somewhere on the screen. So you know, you could see I was getting pretty darn close on a few rows, but I'm happy to have it done. I did enjoy this project, but it is, um, I've been doing it for over a year, so I'm very glad that, um, you know, it is winding down for me. Lots more finales, co finales coming up and um, maybe an intro or two because, you know, it's that time of year. All right, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.